What's going on guys? Brian Moore here for Arsenal Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Huntsville, Alabama with part three of our bullying series videos. So in the first two we talked about indicators of uh, bullying situations, is your child being bullied, and gave you a strategy for addressing those situations. The last of that strategy was finding the right martial arts program to give your kid the proper tools to deal with those situations. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit more here. So with that said, when you're, picking, when you're looking for a martial arts program, one of the first things you wanna look for is, do they address the mental as well as the physical sides of conflict? It's wonderful to have a program that has all these great punches and kicks and twists and turns in the martial arts, the physical side, but if your child isn't mentally prepared to deal with the anxiety, the, the fear, the concerns, the self, lack of self-confidence, uh, then all those physical techniques aren't gonna be effective. So make sure you find a program that deals with the mental as well as the physical side of conflict. Okay? Very, very important. Second, talk to the instructor that you're looking at. Okay, The instructor is going to be a major influencer in your child's life and has the ability to raise their self-confidence tremendously or, be a, a, or lower it down just as badly. Okay, So what you really want to make sure they do is they know how to deal with kids who are dealing with bullying situations. They know how to have a concrete plan for dealing with different situations. How do I educate? How do I encourage? How do I deal with empathy? Um, very, very important. Make sure you find an instructor who knows how to deal with those children and you've vetted them properly to make sure that they're going to be a good influence on your child. Okay. Third, what you want to do is make sure you go visit the school. Okay. The culture of the school is just as important as the instructor. Okay. You want to make sure that the environment that's there is going to be conducive to your child, that they're going to feel comfortable in the environment, that the other students there are going to be conducive. You don't want to put your child in a situation that may cause them more stress. Now, I emphasize stress. We want to challenge the child. We want to make sure that they have the opportunity to reach their new goals, but we don't want it to be an additional stressor, particularly when they're dealing with things at school, okay? And finally, pick a martial art that works well with your child's personality. Martial arts are just as varied as anything else, and so finding something that fits in what your child likes to do is very, very important. If they're not naturally an aggressive kid, maybe you don't want to pick something like that, okay? What we want to make sure is we find a martial art that isn't wrapped in dogma. We're dealing with a real life situation, so reality based is very important. And at the same token, um, is able to give a scalable response to different situations. Sometimes you may need to use a lot of force, sometimes you may not need to. And so make sure that martial art is able to address those different concerns. Okay? So, with that said, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave a comment below or contact us directly. Okay? Talk to you soon.